Welcome to this video. Till now, we have studied three trigonometric identities. Today in this video, we will see some interesting examples based on trigonometric identities. If the value of sec theta plus tan theta is p, then can you prove that the square of p minus 1 upon the square of p plus 1 will be equal to the sine theta? Let's see. We discuss the left side of the given equation, where according to the given information, p is replaced by sec theta plus tan theta, from which we get the following equation, which we write as follows. And in this equation, using the trigonometric identity, 1 plus tan square theta equal to the sec square theta. After solving, we obtain tan theta upon sec theta. But we know that we can write tan theta as sin theta upon cos theta and sec theta as 1 upon cos theta, from which we get the left side value sin theta, which is equal to the right side of the given equation. Thus, we proved it. But, is this the only way to prove this equation? No, we can solve it in other ways also. Let's see. Given that sec theta plus tan theta is equal to p, which is represented by equation 1, and we know that 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta, which we solve by keeping the square of sec theta minus the square of tan theta as 1. And from equation, we know that sec theta plus tan theta is equal to p which is substituted here. We get sec theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 by p, which is represented by equation 2. Now, if we add equations 1 and 2, we get sec theta is equal to p square plus 1 upon 2p, which we can also write in this way, since we know that cos theta equals to 1 upon sec theta. Similarly, if we subtract equation 2 from equation 1, we get tan theta is equal to p square minus 1 upon 2p, where we change tan theta into sin theta upon cos theta. After solving, put the value of cos theta. And see that on solving, we get the same value of sin theta that we were given in the question. Thus, we proved that both sides are equal. At last, a question is given to you to solve. So, hopefully, you must have understood this example based on trigonometric identities. Teachers can also test the understanding of students in the classroom with the help of some such examples.